but don't do it here where we can't trust a man who we don't know what his as you said we we don't know what your what your plans are or what's in your head you're right we don't therefore we have no reason to trust you so I just wanted to get that across and thank you very much thank you Troy Buchinski, I need that spelled. B U C Z I N S K I. I reside at 16486 uh, Blair Street here in Gardner. And I uh, also want to talk on the topic of Mr. Fotovich. Um, bothered me last meeting when he said we didn't know his intentions. Um, you don't know anybody's intentions, but we can give buying signals if, if we want to. If I buy tickets to Disney World, I mean, the intent is there to go to Disney World. If, uh, you know, something as simple as I'm turning on my blinker, I'm going to turn right, there's an intention there. So that's what we're seeing, uh, Mr. Fotovich, and you're playing this cat and mouse game of you don't know my intentions. It, it seems it's, it's pretty well spelled out. Uh, I think you're trying to hide behind being a realtor. Um, but as a council member for, for our city, um, we want people with character, we want people with integrity, uh, we want people with a sense of ethics, and we're not getting that from you. And that's why I believe uh, everybody's having a problem with it. So, you know, if honor and integrity and character and ethics are something that, that you feel is important to you, which I feel like it should be to all our council members that you should do the right thing and step down. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Troy. No one else is coming forward. We'll move on from public comments. <coughs> uh, is there a uh, Next item is up is a consent agenda. Is there a council member that would like to remove an item from the consent agenda? I would con uh, consent item number three. Okay. Uh, how would uh, council like to proceed with uh, consent agenda? Consent agenda items one, two, and four. I would like to move to approve consent agenda items one, two, and four. <coughs> Motion to shoot second Harrison that we approve consent agenda items one, two, and four. All those in favor indicate by saying aye. 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 All those opposed? Mm -hmm. Consent agenda items one, two, and four pass. <coughs> uh, consent agenda item number three. Um, I, I guess there's no presentation, but um, I kind of want to know the timeline of what happened. The contract, it appears, expired on the 31st of December. Um, we, you know, without, there's, there is no contract that I can see. I mean, I, it wasn't included with the uh, council action form, so I, I don't have any way of knowing uh, really the details of that contract. Was there a, a provision for an automatic month-to-month -month extension in it? And, and then secondly, there's, uh, there's some other wording in here that says in addition to the cost to provide routine janitorial services, uh, there was additional services that were solicited. Now, is that this time or was that years ago? Let me answer your question. Thank you. Um, first of all, um, yes, the contract did expire in December. Uh, we were, um, this is a one-year extension contract. We did go month to month during the time that we were looking at the contract as well as um, working with the vendor. Um, they did ask to make some changes on um, billing for supplies. So we were working with them on monthly billing of supplies, how we would get that list, how we would be able to track and know where the supplies were going because we didn't just want to get a dollar amount. It did take us a little longer than anticipated. Um, we won't let that happen again. Um, as you know, we're working on all of our policy procedures and so we'll work to get those um, done uh, more timely. Um, the additional work is just done when we're needed. If we have emergency um, 
items such as water damage or something that would happen if we have special events that we need additional cleaning, that's in addition to um, the monthly charge. Um, I also want to bring to your attention that in your CAF, the monthly cost shows 20, 45 25 That amount is actually 45 50 There was a small change um, in the contract for um, the monthly service. But this is a one-year extension, um, and it would begin at the point in time that you uh, approve the contract. So the, the items that are in that uh, paragraph towards the end, are those those were repriced? Anytime you have a one-year contract, the vendor has an opportunity to go back in and look at their contract. Um, they did that. They have an opportunity to give you additional pricing if there's any price change, and that's what the vendor did. But we didn't approve that. We're bringing it to you right now. But he had six months of, I, I'm assuming he increased his prices on those? No, we paid the same price. But on the, on the, uh, on the reimbursement for cleaning supplies, was there a change in that? The change, let me double check when that change took place on the cleaning supplies. I can't quite hear you. The change on the cleaning supplies the day it took place? <coughs> uh, I believe that was about March. I'm sorry, that did take place in March because we needed to go ahead and get those supplies. It was either they supply them or we supply them. There's really no budgetary difference. It's more um, efficient if they supply them because I don't have um, our one building maintenance person running out getting supplies. So it, it um, really is not a huge budget difference. My, my biggest issue, uh, Mary, is, and I was going to pull this out as well, my, my biggest issue is that we're, we're being asked to go into a contract I haven't seen. Um, <laughs> I mean, it's, it, there's there's no there's no uh, copy of the contract inside the um, inside the uh, the agenda, okay. and it'd be really nice to, to know what we're voting on. I was not aware that the, the contract was not in your agenda packet, so I apologize for that. We can pull this if you want, Cheryl, and we'll just bring it back with the contract for you. That would be that would like sure. That would be better. I would also like to before we vote to table it, uh, make it that one year period retroactive to the beginning of the year so that he doesn't have an extra six months on top of uh, of that time frame when really there should have been a contract in place. We, we would probably need to go back and change the pricing that we paid yeah. them. So let, let me please bring that back to you with the differences if you do that. Um, I believe you will be see to then pay additional pricing for Not what you paid from them. So, let me let me pull this for you and we'll put the contract in front of you i apologize i thought it was with your packet i didn't realize you didn't have it so yes you need to see the contract why, why would we have to pay additional price he's had six months without a contract that we have paid additional <coughs> right I, i'm just saying it's a possibility if you go back and say this is retroactive and this is the pricing that you're paying based on that date then it would be a potential that he could come back and say, then this is the pricing from this day. Well, that's that's so. true, but it's not fair to have, I mean, okay. a six-month extension. Actually, the, I, I believe what Mary's telling us is that we've still been paying the lower 2013. We haven't been paying the 45.50. We've been paying the 42.50. And, and the other thing is, if we go back to the beginning of the year, we might be paying $300 more a month for those first six months without getting the equivalent services. That's, that's a problem. Right now? Explain we why, why would we pay for something that started to build? It's yeah. a flat rate 12 month contract at 4550 okay? And we've been paying 4250 for the first five months of this year, actually six months of this year. Then he's gonna come back and say, we're gonna have to pay him the extra 300 for the first six months per month, and we haven't received the equivalent additional services that are now negotiated in the new contract. That's the problem. So are you saying there's been no increase in the price? There's been no increase in the price for the last six months? The, the increase will go into effect when you approve the contract. <coughs> Which only seems fair. Mm -hmm. so, so, I mean, so you're saying it's a wash even if we, now that he's paying for the cleaning supplies, it's, mm -hmm. it's still a wash. Same price. I will bring all that back to you okay. for you to confirm. All right. I entertain a motion to check. So moved. Second. Uh, motion to Second Harrison, uh, that we table consent agenda item number three uh, for the July 7th uh, council meeting. All those in favor indicate by saying aye. Aye. All those opposed? Motion carries. 